Sup guys, here today to do Terraform Mars episode 6 review. So in this episode of Terraform Mars, well, <clears throat> I wasn't reviewing um, episode, I never reviewed episode 5, but you know this is now episode 6, so picking up where we left off, we get to see, well at the continuation of where I left off, which is Marcos' ability which is the Huntsman Spider <clears throat> we see that is um <clears throat> that's his bug ability that he got through the surgery and then he began pretty much decimating these cockroaches we even get his backstory um some more in-depth into it in terms of how he met Sheila and all of that and you know he was pretty much pissed and hurt that you know his good friend Sheila upon them being <clears throat> separated for good while you know just coincidentally they ended up being back together again him with his friend alex so you know i you know it's pretty obvious that it was tough for him to deal with <clears throat> he went on a rampage killing all of these cockroaches and then captain komachi basically finished up the rest for him but you know um at the end of <clears throat> the last episode or i think at the well yeah in, yeah that is last episode during last week's <clears throat> episode or the last episode episode five we also got to saw um you know michelle davis ability her um insect ability of sorts right and it's revealed that she in particular has two abilities one that she inherited from her father and one that she was given through the surgery um like everyone else right the one that she inherited from her father was an ant ability that made her very strong um start with some people like pearl pearl pumper or something like that right <clears throat> it's a very <clears throat> that ant ability gives her superhuman strength and the second ability that she has right apparently there's this ant that rare ant breed that exists in malaysia that self-destructs right and that's the ability that was pretty much um, implanted into her. So when she fight these cockroaches, right, upon hitting them or leaving contact with them, they just self-destruct. Well, I don't know about you, but that is a very OP, very overpowered ability in my opinion, right? Imagine just fighting an enemy. So <clears throat> this could be any enemy at all that she's facing on Mars. And we've begun to see these cockroaches with um, unique abilities, with strong abilities right so i'm guessing that this applies to them as well that's why i'm saying that this is op maybe it will not in certain given situations i'm sure that you know the fights they are the higher class fights that will happen will not just be one of those like one hit one does type of fights more than likely there will probably be some explanation explain why her ability wouldn't work in a way that it normally does on them probably but for the typical um for the cockroach that we see you know in these episodes man she just basically destroyed them wastelanded them and we also got to see akare's ability and that's towards the beginning of this episode right akare he's a married something like that is his name but you know basically akare is his name we get to see his ability and we get to even see his mars ranking his mars ranking is actually rank six so he's ranked higher than marcos is which is not surprising in my opinion because i definitely knew that he would be definitely one of the strongest guys going there even though he is a newcomer of sorts newcomer relative to people like michelle davis captain komachi you know those other guys that we know um have um see have 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 seniority and have more experience in relation to the cockroaches and the situation that is going on you know um between earth and mars etc right so i'm probably guessing that those higher ranking guys would have the higher ranks but a carry ends up being number six which is very impressive if you ask me and he's also um his ability is having to do with his moth that has very strong strings um it's a funny name so i don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically a moth that has very strong wing um strings and you know using his strings he uses them in very ingenious ways 
he used it to capture several cockroaches that they were facing off against. He successfully captured several of them. And then, you know, in pertaining to this episode, we see this one cockroach just jump in there with these super developed legs, sick legs, basically threw off the their, their, their roof of the vessel that they were traveling in and proceeded to take control of a ship. Right? And then at the same time, simultaneously, Shell Davis got this surprise attack from the lake that she was facing almost immediately that dragged her down into the lake trying to drown her. And you know, later on we, we know how that all worked out, right? But um, I believe this the, the, the important person at play <clears throat> or the person who made the biggest impression to me in this episode is Akari, right? Akari showed us his wits, showed us what he's capable of and he's definitely not someone to be messed with, right? This whole, the whole success of this operation in terms of this episode, it all weighed on Akari's shoulders, right? Whether he could pull off a job, pull off his job, or do the stuff that he is, um, basically do the stuff that he wanted to do successfully, and he did pull them off, right? That he, first of all, he pretty much immobilized the cockroach with the strong legs, um, he mobilized that one first and then he he um, used his ability to get all of the people off the ship while simultaneous at the same time we didn't know this till the end of a fight but apparently he used his strings right timed it um he pretty much used a certain length so that within the two minutes window when he knew that michelle's davis air would run out the ship would just instantly draw her up out of the water which is pretty ingenious if you ask me right getting the timing done at the right moment that's pretty ingenious and we will get to see how michelle davis fight went down as well like she was under the water and then she did this this um leg locking technique on a cockroach that after a period of time began to break the cockroach legs so it was immobile in the water probably going to drown after that and these cockroaches right was revealed or, or rather what is revealed to her and to Akari is that these cockroaches, these abilities that they have with the super strong legs and the, that um, bug beak that, that um, lives underwater and that hunts underwater and some other abilities that happen that was shown before this episode is that these cockroaches, they have somehow gained the abilities of a bugs to expedition team that went early, right? Somehow, I don't know, using the corpses of those dead guys, they got these guys' abilities. And these guys, these enhanced cockroaches with these abilities that they got from them, they are pretty much a lot stronger than the average father cockroaches. Pretty much. So, you know, at first when Akari was facing off against his opponent, which is his super strong legs cockroach, <clears throat> he, well, it seemed as if he got his ass beat. But actually, he came back from that fight and pretty much, um, um, pr pr pretty much, um, beat that cockroach. He yeah, he beat him pretty much straight up, and then he also had Alex, pretty much finish him off, and now it seems like they're because he at the end he was attached to the ship by a string from Akari, so it seems like they're going to use him as a sample now. Now that everything is done with. And Akari got pretty beat up in that fight, but you know, this guy he had pretty strong legs and he overpowered Akari. That was pretty obvious, but Akari came back, um, used his own abilities and beat this guy. So, um, at this point, from this point forward, at the end of the episode, we see the shield shift, shift over to this other expedition team that landed near some pyramids. Apparently that was built on Mars and it most likely must have been built by these cockroaches. So it goes to show you that these cockroaches definitely have some sort of intelligence. Not just from the fact that they built the pyramids, but also from the fact that um, we've seen them piloting the human ships or they know how to pilot human ships, which is pretty impressive. So you know, these cockroaches and Akari even went to hint that they're 
most more than likely following some kind of leader, following their objective or what to do. And this leader definitely has high intelligence and is one pulling the strings of his cockroach minions, definitely. So, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to where all of this goes. Things are getting very exciting at this point. We're getting to see more of these officers' abilities, very unique abilities. <clears throat> and surprisingly and interestingly as well, I'm beginning to learn more about bugs from watching this series. Because this series, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of bugs that goes about in depth in their ability, how they survive, <clears throat> how they move, how they interact, etc. So I'm learning as well. And you know, a lot of people probably don't like bugs, but as for me personal, I don't mind. You know, knowledge is power, the more you know, you know, can never quote unquote know too much, in my opinion. So the more you know the better. So I'm definitely liking the way things are going. So overall that's it, that's my review. I thought that this was a great chapter of Terraform Mars. So that's it, that's my review. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. But a great episode of Terraform Mars. Um, I'm kinda out of it. So that's it, that's my review. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Sayonara.